Welcome to the Saudi Expatriates channel, your go-to source for all updates and news related to living and working in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Today, we bring you an important update from the heart of the Kingdom's financial policies affecting expatriates. Let's dive in. In a recent appearance on the Tamanya talk show, Mohammed Al Jadan, the Minister of Finance in Saudi Arabia, disclosed that the government is currently reassessing the dependent fee for expatriates residing in the kingdom. This reconsideration is aimed at attracting new talent to the Saudi market and is a significant shift from the policy initiated in July 2017. To recap, the dependent fee was introduced in July 2017, starting at 100 reals per dependent and escalating by 100 reals annually, reaching 400 reals per dependent by 2020. This policy was part of broader economic reforms but has had its share of implications on the expatriate community. Al Jadan highlighted that while the Saudi economy is thriving, the dependent fee has influenced the spending patterns within the economy and led some expatriates to relocate their families out of the kingdom, thereby moving their earnings abroad. The rationale behind the fee, as explained by the minister, was to offset the cost of public services, like gas, electricity, water, and some medical care, that expatriate dependents benefit from. With over 2 million people utilizing these services, the decision was aimed at ensuring those who benefit contribute to their costs. A critical point made by the minister was about the financial outflow, with 90% of money meant to be spent within Saudi being sent abroad. This observation has led to a reassessment of policies to balance the benefits of expatriate contributions against the costs. The government's new perspective focuses on attracting and retaining talent, emphasizing the importance of expatriate families and their stability in contributing to the Saudi economy. This marks a potential shift in approach, prioritizing the mutual benefits of expatriates living and working in the kingdom. Furthermore, Al Jadan addressed criticisms of the VAT system and the complex dynamics of implementing an income tax within the GCC framework. The kingdom's efforts to balance economic reform with social welfare through mechanisms like the citizen's account were also outlined, emphasizing support for lower income groups. The minister concluded with insights into the economic and social considerations of tax policies, the challenges of income tax collection, and the role of digital innovations like electronic invoicing in enhancing tax administration and overall economic management. This update marks a significant moment for expatriates in Saudi Arabia, reflecting the kingdom's evolving approach to its economic and social policies. Stay tuned for more updates, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Visit SaudiExpatriates.com and follow us on social media to stay informed. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.